Come on, relax and just enjoy the show. We got you here on straight talk. Don't be lying, yes, you already know. We got you here on straight talk. Yeah, we got you grooving. Let us know how you do it. We keep it live right here on straight talk. Call on my comedy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. To the Straight Talk with your boy Ricardo Montgomery, aka the voice of Gospel Radio. Hanging out with you on this day the Lord has made will rejoice and be glad in it. Coming at you from the home studio because I just wrapped up. And if you're looking in the studio right now, I want all of y'all to go to the Facebook YouTube page, Straight Talk's Facebook YouTube page. And I want you to see me right now while I'm in the home studio because I got it on. I got the jersey on. Niners are going to the Super Bowl. I'm excited. And they're playing the Chiefs. Couldn't get no better than that because the Chiefs, which is our, also a local team. You know, I know Kansas City ain't that far, but everybody here roots for the Chiefs. And my 49ers. Oh, boy. What a day. What a day. What a day. So, we got a great show line for y'all today because obviously it was a great weekend for Chiefs fans, for Niners fans. <laughs> Shout out to all the other teams, though, Baltimore and also Detroit, man. It's going to be a good time come on February the 11th. But I'm here with y'all today because there's a lot going on in the community also. Uh, we're going to talk about, they have a new curriculum that they're working on uh, that we're going to talk about a, a little bit in a little bit here. And also, just some things going on inside the Christian community that we really got to address. We got to talk about it. You know, we're doing a lot. We're doing too much, in my opinion. Um, you know, a little brackful, a little boastful. Uh, also, that, you know, kind of the direction of where we're going. Like, what are we really doing? Are we really edifying the body of Christ? Are we really following the teachings of Jesus? Or are we just doing whatever we feel like doing because we just feel like doing it? <laughs> so... Those are the things that we're going to talk about today here. I'm still excited. I hope you all had a great weekend. It's been a blast, man. Um, really, really busy weekend. A lot of anticipation, man. Phone was blowing up all last night. I don't know about all the Chiefs fans out there. Chiefs fans calling me from back in Missouri, here in Omaha. We're just trash talking a little bit. Just a lot of fun, y'all. So, um, it's just going to be a great two weeks coming up. Um, but God be the glory. To God be the glory. I love seeing these athletes giving God the glory. Um, Brock Purdy, the 49ers quarterback, first thing he said was, man, I couldn't do none of this without without my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We have to em we have to embrace when we hear ministry across multiple platforms because God is doing something new. And the more that we sit and the more we try to ignore what God is doing, the worse it is for us. Because he's showing us every single day that he is in the midst. Whether if it's through sports, whether if it's just um, through different type of entertainment. Um, and also, sometimes even in shows. But we have to be careful because, you know, the scripted stuff is not emotional. But the, the unscripted stuff or the true feelings that people feel in those moments. It's not like, you know, you got to say, okay, it's an award show. We got to throw in Jesus. You know, like, no, you don't have to do that. Because then that's not, that's not genuine. You know what I'm saying? That's not a genuine feeling. But when it's off strip and you catch people in their raw emotions and then they give God the praise, give God the glory, because that's how they feel in that moment. You know, the things that they know, like, I couldn't do this in my belief in Christ. Even if you lose, though, it's the same thing. Um, I'm sure that, you know, you thank God for even just giving you the moment giving you the moment to be somewhere where you have never been before and we don't appreciate that because we think only the winners get to praise God but no the losers get to praise God too because God is sovereign he's sovereign he will be with you no matter what's going through in your life I'm using that for myself because I hit rock bottom sometimes and I know you do too and we have to lift ourselves up. Lift ourselves up. But Christ is right there with us. And if we give honor and glory to Jesus, he will be right there with us. Through it all. Through it all. So no matter what it is that you're dealing with right now in your moments, in your life, give God the glory. 
and he will bless you with all the things that you need sometimes you have to minister to yourself encourage yourself as the songwriter said encourage yourself because a lot of times we get bogged down with what's going on in life you know um, people say things and do things that may be accidental but it really bothers you and then it just tears you up because you're dealing with something else and we have to truly trust and believe on what God is doing in our lives we have to truly be patient sometimes slow down sometimes maybe take a step back sometimes maybe even let it go maybe it's the thing that we're holding on to is just has passed its course but all these things God gives to us through prayer. All we have to talk, communicate to God. He will give He will give confirmation on all the things that you feel that you may not be using in those days and times. But again, we got some great things to bring up here today, so we're gonna talk about those things. Don't uh just a reminder real quick, we're gonna talk about the dealings of the church. Are we being arrogant? Are we really following the teachers of Jesus Christ? There's a lot of some things that I just people are beginning to just come and talk to me more and they love the conversations that we have here on straight talk and they love the title because they're like just get straight to the point ricardo i love the way you just bring it up i love the way that you just talk about it and i'm like okay cool and so they started telling me stories and i'm like wow that's um, that's kind of amazing and we're going to bring them up we're going to talk about them because i think it's i think it's a great subject i think it's something that we should discuss um sometimes we do get a little bit of arrogance we do get a little bit of pride we do get a little bit of boastful and we let it be shown we we let it get we let it show i don't care who you are i don't care what race i don't care who you are as a person no matter what it is whatever denomination or whatever it is you let it be shown that you are a little bit of bragful and boastful and, and that's something that i don't think jesus christ really wants from us but i'm not jesus christ i'm just ricardo <laughs> But we can learn. We can learn because we'll find out. We will find out. Because if you get confirmation on what you're doing, then yes, God was with you. But if you don't get confirmation and things go in the other direction, and it wasn't for you. And you have to pay attention to the Spirit, man. God ain't going to bless everything that we do. He ain't going to bless everything that we do. And uh, we just can't run around and say, well, I repent and I'll be all right. Sometimes you, you, the way you say it is bragful. It's boastful. God ain't gonna honor that. And then we also got a new a new bill that they're looking at bringing up in the school systems, and I can't wait to talk about this because I I don't think it's hilarious, but I do think it's sad. It's a sad day to see what we're doing in the schools. It really is. Uh, so we're gonna be right back with more straight talk. I'm gonna take y'all to this song right here. Let's encourage ourselves in the Lord right here. For a lot of y'all, man, look this music. You may not heard it, you may not know it, but trust me, you listen to it, and the words will bless you. We'll be right back with more Straight Talk right after this. Quality, customer service, and honesty are just a few of the things said about King's Fast Oil. Here at King's, we are locally owned with the same friendly faces, just in a new location. We are currently located at 8506 North Maple Street and open seven days a week. King's Fast Oil is newly updated and our professional staff has over 40 years of combined experience that will keep your vehicle running like a king. We have a welcoming atmosphere and will get you in and out quickly. King's is not your regular quick loop. We do not upsell, no appointment is ever needed, and you stay in your vehicle. We have your oil, filters, and vital fluids. Just give us 20 fast and friendly minutes and you're on your way. Please give us a call at 531-772-0895 and put us to the test. King's Fast Oil. We change oil and we do it with a smile. 
May Brigade is your top choice for a full range of cleaning. Our experts house cleaners help you clean back time so you can spend time on what's important to you. Our professional staff is screened, trained, and insured to handle any request that comes our way, from regular or deep cleaning to new construction and move-out cleanings. May Brigade is a Christian-based cleaning company that is locally owned and green certified. Give us a call at 402 991 9652 for a free estimate and get 20% off just by referring Straight Talk. May Brigade is also looking for new people to hire, so just go to our website at www.maybrigade.com. May Brigade, we are your trusted house cleaners. And all the high prices? Well, happens around the corner. Abby's Corner. Named after Abby Whitford, Abby's Corner is a thrifty boutique in quaint downtown Papillion. Abby's Corner is a family-owned and the friendly owner specializes in upscale ladies' fashion at thrift store prices. So come by 138 North Washington Street and enjoy a relaxed, homey, and artistic atmosphere that will make your shopping experience fun. Inventory at Abby's Corner changes almost daily, so you never know what you might find. And as an added bonus, Abby Corners donate to the local charities such as the Food Bank of the Heartland, the Bethlehem House, and Live on Nebraska. Abby's Corner can be found on Facebook at Live Like Abby Did and on Instagram at Abby's Corner Papillion. So like and follow Abby's Corner, the cutest little thrifty boutique in downtown Papillion. Entrepreneurs want to sell more, build better relationships, and grow your bottom line? In today's competitive environment, businesses must attract more customers, generate new sales, and increase cash flow. Well, here's your solution. Try iTex iTex is one of the largest cashless marketplaces in North America. Generating over $250 million in transactions annually, using iTex can generate new customers, new sales, and improve your bottom line. So visit iTex.com and register now. Or call 402-592-2918 for more information. iTex, changing people's lives one barter at a time. The Table Coffee Company is Omaha's coffee shop. It is the go-to destination for coffee lovers in Omaha. The Table is located in the heart of Old Market in downtown. It's open Monday through Saturday from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. The Table is locally owned and locally sourced. It offers a variety of coffee drinks that are brewed, blended, iced, as well as several tea options. The Table serves breakfast and lunch items all day, and we invite you to come and try some of our signature menu items, such as the Heavenly Waffles Charcuterie Board, a Rosemary White Mocha, a Pomegranate Lime Refresher, or just a great cup of coffee. So come and enjoy the warm and inviting atmosphere at The Table and meet some new friends. The Table is located at 1118 Howard Street. Online ordering is available. Just go to thetablecoffeeco.com. And you can receive curbside pickup as well, because there is a seat for everyone at the table. Caps Etc. is where businesses come to have their embroidered or screen printed apparel done right. Caps Etc. uses quality items that drive eyes to your corporate promotional products and banners. Caps Etc. is family owned and can cover all your businesses' embroidered and promotional needs. Give them a call at 402 614 3883 and use the company that can set your business above the rest. Only at Caps, etc. Get close to the words of the prophets. God is in there. Moses told his people to put scripture in little boxes and tie it to their heads. Strap the Bible to your forehead. Shout proverbs from the rooftops. Post parables on your mirror and on your wall. Pack your margins with notes. Sing the Psalms as your prayers. Read Paul out loud like poetry. Know Isaiah by heart. Love Matthew like a brother. Squeeze the verses like oranges. Do like the Lord told Ezekiel. Eat this scroll and fill your stomach with it. So I ate it and it tasted as sweet as honey. Don't just read the words of the prophets. Eat them. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is. Take a break and enjoy the show. Cody God can judge me, so I'm gone. Either love me or leave me alone. Welcome back. Welcome back to Straight Talk right here on AM660 KCRO and KCRO.com. Eastern Nebraska and Western Iowa's Heartlands Christian Voice. And I'm your host, your guy, Ricardo Montgomery, right here on with you on this Monday afternoon. Still celebrating my Niners going to the Super Bowl. Yeah, also the Kansas City Chiefs are going too. So, no worries, no worries. But if you're joining me, man, look, I got some great things. You see the visual uh, if you're listening on, on the social media side. If you're listening on KCRO, go and join me over on the social media side. Go check it out. Facebook, Straight Talk Facebook. You see the show live right here uh, as we do it. And so it's a blessing, man. It's a great time. You get to see a lot of different things over there on that side also. Uh, kind of inside the workings of what's going on in the studio. So we're having a great time right here. Uh, but, so, I got to get to this, y'all. Because this is this is something that I, I saw in the paper today. Um, I'll be honest, man. I try to do a little research. I try to make sure that I'm up on what's going on in our communities. But there's they're, they're working on two new laws to help kids read. To help kids read. And I'm going to dip over here and pull up all my info right here. Um, so these laws are in the works. And to me, I am just, I'm, I don't know what to say. Like, because I don't like that we got to bring up a law, a legislative. We have to go to our legislators and our legislators think that we need a law to help teach our kids to read efficiently I grew up in the public school system most of all of us out here grew up in the public school system or private school or homeschool doesn't matter but reading is a part of this whole thing that's called education and it's gotten so bad that we have to make a law to help the kids read now I know that it's it's to bring in coaches and kind of help kind of curve some things there because uh because the numbers here in this state they say that it's a roughly around 60 percent of fourth graders can't uh cannot read proficiently and we've taken every way everything away from helping these kids read they don't give them books anymore everything is on a tablet since covid hit everything has been on a tablet um you know you turn around everything is for kids or it's not like it used to be and it's okay that you we want to go with some technology we want to upgrade some things but you still have to read contracts are still written <laughs> all these things that goes on through life has still has to be you still got to go to the bank you still got to go to read what the doctor is telling you all these different th- things are written down and they saying that our kids even in the fourth grade can't read proficiently because we give them too much technology and then again, we're going to bring in coaches and other people that can do what the teachers are already in the room that can do. We have to do better for our teachers. This is where I'm getting at because I, I just don't think that we're helping our teachers. Teachers need to be better paid and they need to have a little bit more more room to do what they do. Like they went to school to learn how to teach and then we take and give all the things that they need to be doing for our students or our kids in the classroom and they take it away and they outsource it somewhere else because basically that's all it is it's outsourcing education because we're going to get some experts or some coaches to come in and help you know find the guidelines of certain studies and all these different things when teachers are right there can do the job now if you guys are with me great if you're not that's fine too because I'm looking at this and I'm like it's kind of laughable to me and maybe I'm just not paying that much attention to it or whatever, whatever. Maybe you guys can help me out. Be mad at me. Tell me what I'm tell me I'm saying something wrong. But to have two new laws, we're looking at making two new laws here in Nebraska to help kids read efficiently with the teachers in the classroom or the robots in the classroom now? There's no more teachers? Like what's going on? What's really going on? I have a five-year-old daughter. 
I heard great things about Nebraska and what Nebraska school system is all about. But if I need to go somewhere else, y'all let me know. Because if we're if we're if we're doing that bad, homeschool kids are reading. All the other kids are reading. What's the issue? What is the issue? How do we how do we solve this thing? You know, and it's like we're just taking funds and we're just throwing it anywhere. I think I I, I believe I read, and you guys out there who who know anything about this, correct me if I'm wrong, but. They're looking to give about ten million dollars from the Nebraska's general fund in the 24-25 fiscal year to pay for systems for the system and the coaches. So they they coming up with a new system and coaches. But teachers could do this. Teachers can do this. It's like we're we're hint, we're, we're we're placing we're we're causing issues for the t- teachers. Who should be doing what they know how to do? Teach. This is what they wanted to do. They they were called to teach. Man, I'm so glad that the teachers that I had when I was coming up, Miss Short, Miss Woolard, they wouldn't they wouldn't deal with this. And we're like, no, 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 no. I teach that kid how to read. Then I tell their parents. But we taking the community out of the, the relationship between teachers and parents because we keep throwing extra stuff at the teachers that they overwhelm so they can't freely talk to the parents and then sometimes we have the parents that's like well aren't you in school this is what you're supposed to be doing and now we have people trying to create a law for all the things that we need now we need a new law (laughs) something else man it is something else um what what are we doing what are we doing um this bill uh, is for the training to would be for educators to teach children ages birth to five years old um, and adult and also provide adult literacy education and form a literacy steering committee to oversee uh, the implication while creating a strategic plan and improving reading education across the state now I can get it if it's adult literacy like there are some adults who don't know how to read and it's sad that it's still to this day but hey those are life choices and these are what they make but when it comes down to our children and plus and from the age of birth to five this is when we have to step in as the parents we have to I know we work well, we still got to work on with our kids. We still got to work with our kids. I know all the different things out there. We still got to work with our kids. We still got to do it. It's it's something that if you're blessed, great. You can do that. But we have to work with them. Because it's, it's on us too. I mean, like, you don't want to be the parent that can read and, and your child can't. <laughs> like, you don't want to do that. You don't want to be that. You want to have it the way your kid can read, and 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 you know you you feel pride that you have taught your child how to read. I hope you would. I hope you would be proud that you taught your child how to read. It's it's a lot. It's a lot, and we have to get better. This is the things that are tearing us apart because it's dividing us, and it's not helping us grow together. There's always someone out there. That can, if you are struggling as a parent, you don't have the time. There's you, you know, someone that can help. You do know someone. Hey, you know they're really good with kids. Let's let's help my, this baby read. How do I help my baby get better at reading these books? My daughter asks me to read her book every night. Some nights I'm just tired. And I don't want to do it. But then some nights it's like, okay, okay, Ricardo, you have went two nights without reading her a book. Read this baby a book. You got to take time out. Yes, and I do. And I do. And it means a lot to her because now daddy's sitting down reading with her. It helps her learn words. She go bring me a book. Dad, let's read this book together. And she wants to read it. So we, I help her read. Now my wife do a way better job than I do. But that's just my house. I'm just not, and I'm not going against whatever. If It's maybe something in there that's a whole lot bigger than what I'm, but what I'm seeing and what, to me, it's just a law. It's a law to help our children read when we have teachers. So we're going to pay $10 million to 
help our kids read and bring in other people when teachers can do it. This money can go to those teachers, man. This money can go to those teachers and help them do what they need to do. I know that these teachers can do it. And if you don't have enough teachers, then you have assistant teachers. But $10 million, I'm sure, can help those teachers do across the entire state of Nebraska. Help them get this reading efficiency up without the coaches, without the program. It's a waste of money. And that's just my opinion. But I got more to talk about too coming up because Chris Community, you ain't off you ain't off the hook either. We gotta get better. And we can't be bragful or boastful. So we're gonna take this quick musical break and come right back with more straight talk right after this. Quality, customer service, and honesty are just a few of the things said about King's Fast Oil. Here at King's, we are locally owned with the same friendly faces, just in a new location. We are currently located at 8506 North Maple Street and open seven days a week. King's Fast Oil is newly updated and our professional staff has over 40 years of combined experience that will keep your vehicle running like a king. We have a welcoming atmosphere and will get you in and out Quickly. King's is not your regular quick loop. We do not upsell, no appointment is ever needed, and you stay in your vehicle. We have your oil, filters, and vital fluids. Just give us 20 fast and friendly minutes and you're on your way. Please give us a call at 531-772-0895 and put us to the test. King's Fast Oil. We change oil and we do it with a smile. May Brigade is your top choice for a full range of cleaning. Our experts house cleaners help you claim back time so you can spend time on what's important to you. Our professional staff is screened, trained, and insured to handle any request that comes our way, from regular or deep cleaning to new construction and move-out cleanings. May Brigade is a Christian-based cleaning company that is locally owned and green certified. Give us a call at 402-991-9652. For a free estimate and get 20% off just by referring Straight Talk. Maybrigade is also looking for new people to hire, so just go to our website at www.maybrigade.com. Maybrigade, we are your trusted house cleaners. And all the high prices? Well, happens around the corner. Abby's Corner. Named after Abby Whitford, Abby's Corner is a thrifty boutique in quaint downtown Papillion. Abby's Corner is a family-owned and the friendly owner specializes in upscale ladies' fashion at thrift store prices. So come by 138 North Washington Street and enjoy a relaxed, homey, and artistic atmosphere that will make your shopping experience fun. Inventory at Abby's Corner changes almost daily, so you never know what you might find. And as an added bonus, Abby Corners donate to the local charities such as the Food Bank of the Heartland, the Bethlehem House, and Live on Nebraska. Abby's Corner can be found on Facebook at Live Like Abby Did and on Instagram at Abby's Corner Papillion. So like and follow Abby's Corner, the cutest little thrifty boutique in downtown Papillion. Entrepreneurs want to sell more, build better relationships, and grow your bottom line? In today's competitive environment, businesses must attract more customers, generate new sales, and increase cash flow. Well, here's your solution. Try iTex iTex is one of the largest cashless marketplace in North America, generating over $250 million in transactions annually. Using iTex can generate up, new everybody? customers, new sales, Cole, and improve your you bottom line. So visit iTex.com and register girl. now or right call 402-592-2918 for more information. iTex, changing people's lives one barter at a time. The Table Coffee Company is Omaha's coffee shop. It is the go-to destination for coffee lovers in Omaha. The Table is located in the heart of Old Market in downtown. It's open Monday through Saturday from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. The Table is locally owned and locally sourced. It offers a variety of coffee drinks that are brewed, blended, iced, as well as several tea options. 
The table serves breakfast and lunch items all day, and we invite you to come and try some of our signature menu items, such as the Heavenly Waffle Charcuterie Board, a rosemary white mocha, a pomegranate lime refresher, or just a great cup of coffee. So come and enjoy the warm and inviting atmosphere at the table and meet some new friends. The table is located at 1118 Howard Street. Online ordering is available. Just go to thetablecoffeeco.com and you can receive curbside pickup as well because there is a seat for everyone at the table. Caps Etc. is where businesses come to have their embroidered or screen printed apparel done right. Caps Etc. uses quality items that drive eyes to your corporate promotional products and banners. Caps Etc. is family owned and can cover all your businesses and broader and promotional needs. Give them a call at 402-614-3883 and use the company that can set your business above the rest. Only at Caps Etc. Entrepreneurs want to sell more, build better relationships, and grow your bottom line? In today's competitive environment, businesses must attract more customers, generate new sales, and increase cash flow. Well, here's your solution. Try iTex. iTex is one of the largest cashless marketplaces in North America. Generating over $250 million in transactions annually, using iTex can generate new customers, new sales, and improve your bottom line. So visit iTex.com and register now. Or call 402 592 2918 for more information. ITEX, changing people's lives one barter at a time. The Table Coffee Company is Omaha's coffee shop. It is the go-to destination for coffee lovers in Omaha. The Table is located in the heart of Old Market in downtown. It's open Monday through Saturday from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. The Table is locally owned and locally sourced. It offers a variety of coffee drinks that are brewed, blended, iced, as well as several tea options. The table serves breakfast and lunch items all day, and we invite you to come and try some of our signature menu items, such as the Heavenly Waffles Charcuterie Board, a rosemary white mocha, a pomegranate lime refresher, or just a great cup of coffee. So come and enjoy the warm and inviting atmosphere at the table and meet some new friends. The table is located at 1118 Howard Street, Online ordering is available. Just go to thetablecoffeeco.com and you can receive curbside pickup as well because there is a seat for everyone at the table. Caps Etc. is where businesses come to have their embroidered or screen printed apparel done right. Caps Etc. uses quality items that drive eyes to your corporate promotional products and banners. Caps Etc. is family owned and can cover all your businesses and broader and promotional needs. Give them a call at 402-614-3883 and use the company that can set your business above the rest. Only at Caps Etc. Welcome back, welcome back to Straight Talk right here on KCRO and KCRO.com. Eastern Nebraska and Western Iowa's Heartlands Christian Voice. And I'm your host, your guy, Ricardo Montgomery, hanging out with you on this Monday afternoon. Still celebrating the Super Bowl. My team going to the Super Bowl. Yes, I'm going to say it in every break because in a couple weeks, we're going to have to play this game. And man, Chiefs looking good. Chiefs are looking good. I got to shout out my good friend, Mr. Jimmy Ellsworth. Uh, I'm going to have to hit you up, man, because uh, it's going down. It's going down. I know he's a huge Chiefs fan, so uh, me being a Niners fan, I- I'm looking forward to uh, to messing with him. And also my guy, Mike, local guy right here. Both of them are local guys. They own local businesses. Um, my guy, Mike, and uh, he knows. He knows. I'm going to hit him up because he's a Niners fan, so... Uh, so I'm looking forward to it. And uh, I can't forget you also, Pastor Lance Birch, over there at Reality Church, who's a Cowboy fan. I know you're sick. I know you're sick. I know you're sick. <laughs> but, uh, man, God is good throughout all those different things. And uh, what I, I tell you, I tell y'all that people come and talk to me now. That The more and the more the show is on air every day, more and more people are really coming to me. And they say, hey, Ricardo, we love what you're doing. Uh, we're listening to your show, man. The show sounds really great. A lot of fun. I'm kind of glad the way that you make it just joyful. And it's just a little different. Um, you know, we love listening to KCRO programming. I've become more and more a listener of KCRO because um, 
I hear more and more different programs as I listen, you know, listening to your show, and then I hear more and more about what's going on in KCRO in between the top of the hours and things like that. And I appreciate you, you all, especially all of you all out there that are listening and the ones listening online too at KCRO.com. And remember, you can go catch any of these shows if you want to see what's going on in the studio, where if I'm at home or in the studio at the radio station, you can always go to the YouTube, Straight Talk YouTube page, Straight Talk Facebook page, and kind of get a glimpse of what's going on inside, behind the scenes, all those things, because we have a lot of fun. We do a lot of great things here at the show. Um, So with that being said, people come up to me now, and they want to have a discussion because they love the title Straight Talk. They want to be real. They want to be straight. And they bring up things to me that I'm like, wow, I didn't even know that. And they say, yeah, you should look that up and talk about it and things like that. So I'm like, oh, of course, yeah. Um, but recently, uh, someone came to me and they was telling me about how they've noticed in the Christian community, we're becoming, you know, um, not in the Christian community, but, you know, watching, say, like sports talk. If you're into sports like me, you watch sports talk, you know, the ESPNs, all the, all the ones like that. And you see a lot of arguing back and forth between the um, anchors. And this is television. Like I told y'all, I, I, I was in television for 30 years. Never ever happens. Like, yeah, there's little beefs and stuff, but it never goes on to the air. Never. <laughs> TV, no. Not going to go on air. But now, more and more of these debate shows and more and more people want to debate amongst cross-platforms and argue amongst themselves... And it's really ridiculous because now it's kind of like where society is going. Society is going in a whole different direction because everybody wants to tell the truth. Yeah, they want to. I want to get the truth out about you, 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 you. More of a, um, um, I'm going to expose you type of mentality. And when we look at sports talk. It's a lot of people going back and forth, and that's okay. That's the world. But then we look at the world, the world, all these reality shows, all the different things. There's just people going back and forth, and folks want to expose. You go through your social media feeds. You see all these same things over and over and over again of people just arguing back and forth. I mean, Cat Williams blew up the Internet because he, everyone thinks he told the truth, but he's just, like, calling out certain things and doing all these things. And people feed off that, man. The world feeds off that, and it's like, wow. But it's amazing to me when it happens in the Christian community because there's people out there right now that's challenging people online to challenge that they know more about the Bible than the other person and and you read this and they read that but it's always on their platform it's always on their grounds of of you know having the audience in their favor if if we go that route uh and someone came to me and they was having this discussion. It was like, you know, it's amazing how right here in Omaha that we have this type of culture that's developing in the Christian community uh, of denominations sticking together. Like you can be in a group in a room full of people and trying to make the community better. But this denomination won't talk to this denomination. And because this denomination is, was granted this, this denomination is mad about that. And it's like, wow, are you serious? It's like, yeah, this is, and you need to look it up. Look, we'll see what's going on. I'm going to show you, I'm telling you, you need to look at it and have a discussion about it because we're not going to get anywhere if we continue to treat each other in this light. And I'm like, well, of course not. How are we going to, how are we going to grow the body of Christ if I'm, in one denomination and I'm at another denomination or I won't cross over to talk to them to even have a conversation to figure out how we can make our own communities better for Christ not for us but for Christ because when we do that the world is seeing us and the first thing they're saying is that's why I don't go to church that's why I don't believe in Jesus and we still do it why what is so prideful that makes you say if I'm if if I'm a Lutheran, I'm not going to deal with those Catholics. Or if I'm Baptist, I'm not going to deal with those Kojic folks. Kojic is Church of God in Christ for some who don't know. Why do we do that? Why are we separating ourselves from doing amazing things in our community? Omaha, like we said last week, Omaha has a crime rate, solve rate of a hundred percent. One hundred percent. If someone gets shot and killed. The likelihood of them catching the person is at 100%. And 
And if it's not 100%, it's very high in the 90s. And as a person who lived in other places across this country, Omaha, if you are hating on that, there's a problem with you. Because other cities, that rate is not right. Think about living in Chicago and your family, your family member got shot by someone else. And then you don't know who the person is and the person is still one in the streets. You know who they are, but the police can't catch them. Think about that. Think about that for a moment. Well, see, when you're from somewhere and you've never been anywhere else, it's amazing how you think every that you have all the problems. But when you come from somewhere else and you come to some to a new place, and you see, like, wow, this is this is the good life, as the state sign says. Now I'm not getting off that, but I'm looking at it. And I'm telling you this as in the perspective of you guys have a lot of great things going on, especially here in in what is created has been created and god is really blessing you but if you're arguing amongst yourselves about some simple things this is not right that's not right and you're staying in your own little area you're never going to reach what god has for you you're never going to reach it and you're hurting yourself you're hurting the christian community and it's and if we're not right the world is not going to be right if we're the ones holding us at, then the world is always going to be held in front. And then they're going to do what they want to do. And it's not going to help the body of Christ. Then all we're going to do is go into our pulpits and preach and preach and preach about what's not right. But it's us. We're not looking in the mirror at ourselves. We, we're pointing the finger at them. And I realize it's three fingers pointing back. Because we're too busy arguing about simple things. It's all about Christ. And if we're Christ-centered, we can have discussions that grows our Christian community. We can have discussions even if we don't agree to say, okay, I see your point. This is our point. Now, let's not fight against it. Let's try to find a common ground to where we can really affect the community in a positive light. Now, on Straight Talk, anyone's welcome to come in, come on and talk to me about anything they want to talk about, as long as it affects the Christian community. And if I disagree, I will tell you I disagree. But I'm not going to disagree to where I'm not going to, I'm going to kick you off the show and never bring you back. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to disagree and we're going to find common ground to where we can better the body of Christ. So we can better grow in our Christian community. Because it's needed. It's needed. We got to stop arguing about things that is that does not affect us at all. Now, some people may say that that's not a problem, but it is a problem. Some people may say we don't see that on, on in our churches. You don't see it because you're ignorant, you're blind to it because maybe you're the one who is saying this is this is OK. Because when you get a bunch of people that agrees with you, of course, you're not going to see anything because you're only going to see what you want to see. And that's the problem. Because if I'm this and I think this way, but this person over here thinks a different way and I want to disagree with them, come on, y'all. What's going to help? What's going to help? Because you're not helping each other. You're just disagreeing because they don't agree with what you said. You ain't heard a word they said. You know, I go back and I heard this and, and, I, and I love it and I remembered it when they said it about uh, Abraham Lincoln, how great of a leader he was. And Abraham Lincoln had so many different people that didn't agree with him in the room with him to make the right decision that was best for the entire country not what's best for his party not what was best for him not what made his ego rise up but it was what's best for the greater good and as a Christian and as in the Christian community if we have leaders that's out there and I'm looking directly into my camera right now if we have leaders that's out there and all you are doing is what's best for your denomination. You're failing Jesus Christ. You're failing. But if you are a Christian and you are doing what's best for the greater cause of humanity to grow God's kingdom, then you're on the right track. It's just that simple gonna take another quick commercial break come back and wrap this show up what a great monday man niners all the way and i am not talk stop talking about them because i i'm enjoying this yes i am we'll see y'all right here right at this commercial break y'all be blessed 
Standby. I'll be right there. He knows your music. He speaks your mind. And he's got you locked on. Call him K. Because you're okay with him. Mm-hmm. You need to be listening to him and trying to figure out what notes you're going to sing next time. Okay, stop trying to take over my choir. That's a $13.75 fine. Get close to the words of the prophets. God is in there. Moses told his people to put scripture in little boxes and tie it to their heads. Strap the Bible to your forehead. Shout proverbs from the rooftops. Post parables on your mirror and on your wall. Pack your margins with notes. Sing the Psalms as your prayers. Read Paul out loud like poetry. Know Isaiah by heart. Love Matthew like a brother. Squeeze the verses like oranges. Do like the Lord told Ezekiel. Eat the scroll and fill your stomach with it. So I ate it and it tasted as sweet as honey. Don't just read the words of the prophets. Eat them. When I need help, I always meditate. And you know what I do? I ask God (laughs) to help me. I called on God. I said, God, (laughs) you are the chairman of the board. And I'm merely a rousing young executive. This is my only favorite station. Welcome back, welcome back to Straight Talk right here on AM660 and KCRO and KCRO.com. Eastern Nebraska and Western Iowa's Heartland's Christian Voice. And I want to thank you all for hanging out with me on today. Sitting in the home studio, so uh, it's been a great time, man. I'm still riding that 49er. 49er love, man, and uh, wow, it's been a great, great day. But as we come back and we get ready to wrap this show up, I want to remind you all the things, everything that we talked about today. Those two laws for his schools readings and um you know just christian community we have to get better we can't be bragful or boastful and we have to grow our community a whole lot better we get into that time to where um it's getting close to resurrection time it's the end of january we're going into february so we have black history month next thing you know boom it's easter time it's resurrection time and we can't sit out here and then want people to come to our churches to confess jesus christ and then we teach them how to be bragful, bragful, boastful, not want to work with others, all those things that is really not about the body of Christ. So we can't go along and start teaching that what Jesus can do for you and all the things Jesus can bring to you and then don't even want to work with other people. I mean, it's, 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 it just doesn't compute. It doesn't work that way. And also... We have to we have to show love to our teachers. Our teachers are a very valuable part of what makes us educated. We have amazing teachers out there, but we also have to help them. We have to help them. We can't keep bringing outside resources in and then saying, "Okay, well, you know, teachers have more help. Just pay them a little bit more and let them teach the way they need to teach. Let them come up with the curriculum what's best for those kids because they're with those kids every single day they know what those kids needs and we should honor that and respect that but we got more of great things coming up this week on this show we got miss tila coming back on wednesday for wisdom wednesday today is ministry mondays and it's very important that we really focus on our ministries all of our ministries because our ministries are a valuable part of what we do but let's have some fun too. It's not like we got to sit here and go and talk about all these things and then do nothing. And do nothing. And just be so super serious. Let's have some fun too. Me, that's why I talk sports. Because it's it's the fun part of me. It's what it, what brings me joy. And I want to bring you all joy too. Now, if, it's, if your team is like, you know, the worst team in the league, do what everybody else does that I know. All the Cowboy fans do. They just start talking for no reason. <laughs> They just start talking for no reason. 
Uh, it's like, what, the next year is going to be their year. Hear it every year. I've been hearing that since 95. This next year going to be our year. This year going to be our year. This year going to be our year. Yeah. And we still waiting on that year. You know, I think Jesus is going to come back before the Cowboys win the Super Bowl. Ooh, that was a low blow, Cardo. That was a low blow. I'm sorry, y'all, but, you know, just some, just joy. Just fun. Uh, so, as we get ready to wrap this show up, going into the rest of this week, it's going to be a great week right here on Straight Talk. Let's all pray for Chuck Yates. Um, you know, he's a great guy. I love Chuck. Chuck is um, one, of, one of the guys who always brings joy when I come into the studios at Boomer Radio. Um, and all, all the DJs over there at Boomer. Um, Boomer, all our DJs on all the different platforms. Let's just please pray for them because they are great men, um, men and women. Uh, and they do amazing work. They get up and they bring, they give you 110% every single day. Every single day. Dave Winninger, Dave, uh, my main man, um, um, Jack, Jack Yates, Neil, uh, Peggy over at Council Bluffs, Chris over at uh, Fremont. Those people do an amazing job of bringing you all the great stuff that they bring you. Uh, so I just want to say a prayer for all of those people because we're all a team here at uh, Walnut and also Miss Jackie Mar. Jackie Mar does great work too. Uh, love what she does, man, and she's helped me so many ways and so much. So continue to support us. We're here. KCRO is always here for you for the right information for Christian communities. Grow, talk, sports, everything you need right here on KCRO. I bring the sport part, but you know, I know what goes on in the church. Some people think it's kind of crazy like, oh, he talks Christian and he talks sports. We talk sports at church every Sunday. Every fella does. So, until tomorrow, y'all be blessed. Peace.